Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from around the world. My name is Vessel Golden and welcome to Real Talk with Vessel Golden. Golden. Call me Golden. This is my YouTube channel that I hardly post videos, I know. <laughs> I'm always very busy. But right here, we talk about trans issues or the LGBT community, the issues we go through in Africa, more especially in Ghana and Nigeria. And right now, it is hell. I don't know, some people who are not familiar with my country wouldn't know we have a, a popular influencer called Bobriski. I'm going to throw her picture down here so you can see her picture. Bobriski is an influencer that have grown in Nigeria. She lives in Nigeria and she lives her life as a woman right now. Most recently, she has gone through surgery. I saw her, she had the breast augmentation surgery and a lot of changes. So she lives as an open trans woman in Nigeria. And recently, Bobriski was put in jail because of a new law that was passed in Ghana, in, in Nigeria, which is about money mutilation where you're not allowed to spray money. And in Nigeria, part of our culture, we spray money in our parties. It's something we always do. But because of the new law, she was caught spraying money in an event and she was thrown in jail for that. That is what they say. Meanwhile, we have a lot of people in Nigeria who do the same, who commit the same offense and they're all living freely. Recently, an influencer was also a socialite. Obi Kubana was arrested. That's the, they, they say they arrested him, brought him to court, and he's been granted bail, not just granted bail, he's been settled outside court. So he's just going to pay a fine. Meanwhile, Bobriski was thrown in jail. Instead of them saying she was thrown in jail because she's a trans woman, she was thrown in jail because they feel she promotes LGBT lifestyle in Ghana. In Nigeria, why do I keep saying Ghana? Because I have a lot of issues with Ghana also, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. She's been instead of them, instead of them saying they're training in jail because of her lifestyle or because they think she's promoting an LGBT lifestyle, they lie and say she's been put in jail for an offense that is billable with I think a fifty thousand fine, which she can pay. Well, that is what happened with her. I don't want to talk about. I try not to talk about these issues. Then I started seeing videos of trans women being insulted, being assaulted, being beaten since Bobriski was arrested. So it looks as if her arrest have drawn attention to the trans community in Nigeria. And now they're fishing out innocent trans girls in the streets, beating them, attacking them. I have a lot of photos and videos of girls who have sent me pictures of them with their eyes broken, with stitches on their faces being attacked in nigeria but i can't post those videos because they're private and i don't have permission to post those videos but i'm going to post some pictures and videos of random videos that i've seen on instagram on facebook of trans women who have been attacked and beaten gay people who have been beaten since bob Risky was arrested oh, now. no no leave this guy why do they do like leave this guy no why do they do like this now what are they do like? No, I leave this guy alone now. Stop now. What are they do like this? Guy, no, I leave this guy. What are they do? Leave this guy now. What are they do like this? And guy, I know they like this guy. Stop this thing now. What are they do like this? Stop now. I know they like this guy. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, stop now. No, stop. So it looks as if the moment they arrest the biggest trans influencer, social light in Nigeria, it have drawn more attention to. The trans community someone just got into the house so you hear the noise don't worry i can't cut this video if i cut the video and i start recording again boom i can't so they i think them arresting bob risky and throwing and throwing her in jail has drawn attention to the trans community and now they're being attacked every day they're being beaten every day someone is making me laugh They've been attacked every day. They've been beaten every day. That's why I keep spreading the message of leaving the country. I keep telling these girls, save those money you're making. Get a flight ticket. Get a visa and move to a country where you can live freely. A country where you're being accepted. A country where your safety is important. Because I choose my safety over living as a socialite in Ghana or in Nigeria. 
when I was in Ghana, I was living fine. I was on TV. I was treated like a mini celebrity. It's fun. Don't I, trust me. It's fun when you leave your house. People see you and they recognize. They recognize you. It's fun when you leave your house. People want to take picture with you. It's fun when you leave your house and you feel like a star. But also, you need peace of mind. Because even if people recognize me every day and they loved me, they want to take pictures with me, I still have those amount of people who were waiting to attack me, who did not support my lifestyle, who felt I was a problem in their community. And this is what is happening to these innocent girls in Nigeria right now, being attacked every day, being beaten every day because people see them as, as a, how do I say it without being offensive? People see them as a problem in the community, which is something I don't understand in Nigeria also. We have politicians stealing the, the money. There's no good road. There's no good education. There's no good medical health care. There's no good women's rights. There's no good children's rights. Children are being beaten by their teachers and professors in school. Women are being beaten by their husband and thrown aside. Still, instead of addressing all these issues, you choose to address an issue of, a, of the trans community. Innocent people who just want to live their life peacefully in a country. I think I prefer to have 100 LGBT people walking the streets than 10 hooligans of armed robbers, killers, women beaters, molesters in my community. I don't know when Nigeria will grow and understand that the problem we have in Nigeria is not the LGBT community. The problem we have in Nigeria is our corrupt leaders who can provide good education for young children. Our corrupt leaders who, who can even provide a stable electricity. Our corrupt leaders who can provide who can provide a community where women are respected. I know women who have been beaten, they cry to their family members and their parents tell them to close their mouth and go back to and live with that same man. Meanwhile, you want to tell me you want to at attack an innocent trans woman. When you can't, when you, when you, you ah, I'm lost, I'm, I'm lost, I don't know what to say. When, when I think about these issues, it annoys me because... These innocent girls are, are not the problem we have in Nigeria. Allow them to live their life. Not, not everybody, I understand, not everybody have money to move out of Nigeria. The little ones who can move out of Nigeria, just allow them to live in peace. They are not fighting you. They are not asking you to leave your house for them to live in your house. Just allow them to live in peace. It's already difficult being a trans woman. Then add to the stress of people attacking you on the streets beating you one of the girls one of the pictures i have she has stitches all over her eyes her mouth is swollen how dreadful she's going to have that scar on her face that will remind her every day that she was beaten just for being who she is she was attacked and beaten just because she wants to live the way she feels inside she just wants to manifest it outside and whew. this is a painful this is this is a painful painful situation happening in our country it's really really painful and to all the countries that accept trans women kudos to government officials who believe in our rights and who give us a safe place to live in a safe country where we have our rights to be able to live freely as humans because everybody deserves to live freely whether you're trans whether you're gay whether you're straight whether you're bisexual woman man kids everybody deserves to live freely in their country it's a basic human right thank you very much for watching my short video i don't i try not to make my videos very long because my dear it's it's, it's even stressful to edit a, a five minute video is stressful. Imagine editing a video that is more than 15 minutes long. Thank you guys for watching. And remember to follow me on all my social media network. It's Vessel Golden on Instagram, Vessel Golden on TikTok, Vessel Golden everywhere. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bells. Also, drop your comments and tell me what you think about countries where they still demonize 
the LGBT community, where we are still attacked and beaten and frustrated. Tell me what you think about these situations and how do you think we can educate the, the country, the community, the leaders to be able to change their mindsets of how they think about the LGBT community. I'm sorry about the water you're listening to. I better stop my video because a lot of noise is about to happen in the house. Thank you guys for watching. Big hug and kisses. Mwah.